In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for their faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off, those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty chain claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob who redeemed Abraham. Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our, God, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, 
Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a connection that um, the, the people who, choo- who chose these readings uh, and set up the lectionary in that way, they, there's a connection that they're asking us to make. There's a connection that they're asking us to make. We want to connect the prophecy of Isaiah with what Jesus is doing. That's what we're asked to do in this. And this happens frequently now that we're in this uh, season of Advent, and we will see it also in the Christmas season, the Lenten season, uh, the Easter season as well, all of these things, trying to make these connections. Uh, The prophet Isaiah is speaking about the Messiah, about the coming of the Messiah and what that's going to be like. What is it going to be like? Well, it's going to be a time of great um, prosperity, if you will, Uh, great growth. We talk about uh, uh, an area becoming an orchard and then becoming a forest so, so quickly. We hear about the deaf being able to hear and the blind being able to see. All of these are signs that the Messiah is coming. These are all signs of who the Messiah is. And we hear that the lowly will find joy, the poor will rejoice. Again, all signs that the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is going to reestablish justice. He's going to make for them this, this amazing world. The kingdom of God is going to come with, with the Messiah. So then we turn over to the gospel and we see uh, Jesus healing these two men who are, are uh, Two, two men who are blind. He heals them, and he, of course, as he, as he usually does with the healing, emphasizes the fact that it's according to their faith that this healing has happened. But he is the Messiah. He is the one who has brought this healing. And so those who are watching, those who are paying attention to what's going on, are going to realize that Jesus is that Messiah. They're going to put two and two together. They're going to be able to find that connection with the prophecy of Isaiah and see that Jesus is indeed uh, that Messiah. Now, he tells them not to tell anyone because they have the wrong idea of who the Messiah is. He's afraid it's just going to spread and people are going to have the wrong idea and things are not going to work out. And, of course, we realize that's what happened. But... um, But he's trying to keep it quiet because he doesn't want them to operate under some some misunderstanding of who the Messiah is. Yes, the Messiah has come to heal and to bring justice. All of these things are, are happening as a result of the Messiah. But it is not the Messiah that they expect, which probably in on their part was this great military leader who was who would be like David and amass a great army and defeat all Israel's enemies, all Jerusalem's enemies. That's not the kind that, um, not the literal kind of person that Jesus is. Yes, he does defeat death. He does defeat evil in what he is is doing. Uh, Not in the way that they probably hoped, though. Not in the way that they were were looking for. So, again, he makes that... um, uh, that statement about keeping it quiet, not spreading it, but they couldn't help it. It was just too great a thing that he was doing, and we could hardly blame them for wanting to spread the good news about something so wonderful, so great that he is doing in healing uh, the blind, enabling the blind to see, and for them, ushering in this era of the Messiah and bringing about the kingdom. So uh, let's stand and pray. We want to pray first for uh, Mary Prock. Um, We offer the Mass for her today. We ask the Lord to give her special blessings today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We continue to pray for comfort and healing for Marie, Jane Benedetto, Barb Mee, Anthony Settle, Madison Placencia, Dan Branch, Christine Williams, Karen Metcalf, Jimmy Dean Paris, Sandra and Gary Coggins, Sherry Riley, Jerry Brower, and Jean Marr. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that their eyes may be opened to the ways they can offer healing and hope to people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Um, any prayers you'd like to offer? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we are blind in many ways, but we believe that you can make us see. Open our eyes to your glory, that we may more profoundly praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, uh, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joan of Arc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. say to you in the darkness, speak in the light, says the Lord. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.